See what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? What I waited for has come to pass. Daddy, see what the Lord has done. My daddy, I'm so excited. You know you have been preaching a whole lot of messages. You know, and this message you preached the other day that actually made me to take the step. You know, you said we should do all we can to make it why the sun shine. And whatever thing we conceive, we should be able to follow it up to make sure we achieve that result. Mm. And that, that is the reason why I have come today to present to you my fiancé. Wow. Henny. Yes, sir. This is your fiancé? Yes, daddy. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Wow. She's so beautiful. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, what a lovely damsel. Thank you, sir. I am Femi. Yes, sir. Where did you meet this beautiful damsel? <laughs> daddy, it is the last day, Daddy. But, um, Daddy, I don't know if you can remember the convention that held at Uyo, the National Christian Youth Convention. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, daddy, I was just playing the keyboard. While I was playing the keyboard, I just saw somebody in the crowd. You know, a beautiful damsel. You know, and because of her complexion, that actually attracted me. And then, uh, after then, we exchanged contacts and the rest is the story, Daddy. <laughs> yes, sir. Are you sure that was not the reason you were playing off-key that day? Daddy, Daddy! No, my, my Daddy. I can't really see you, but the spirit led me, Daddy. <laughs> That's by the way, um, yes, sir. young lady, sir. you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Please, what is your name? My name is Kate, sir. Oh, Kate. Yes, sir. And where are you from? I'm from Cross River. Oh, sir. wonderful. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. I am the General Overseer of Shepherd's Ministry. Yes, sir. That's my daddy. Yeah. Yeah. So you have come so that I pray for you, isn't it? Yes, sir. And also to encourage us. It's okay. We actually need to hear from the Spirit. Yes, sir. So let's pray. Mm -hmm. Mm. Brother Femi, yes, I see death. Mm. Mm. I see death. Yes, sir. Young lady, sir. there is something in you placed by your ancestors. Oh, Holy Spirit, help me. Mm. Femi. Yes, sir. The spirit says, if you get married to her, you are going to die in three months. Jesus! That's what I'm hearing. No, God forbid. No. Um, but, uh, come on. The devil cannot overpower our God. And that's why I'm here, as your spiritual head. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. We are going to break it. Yes, sir. Don't worry, young lady. Whatever it is that they put on you, it shall be broken. Amen! In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, um, for the past seven days, I have been on this dry fasting, seeking the face of the Lord. And uh, the Spirit of the Lord says that, uh, that she should join me because I still have five days to go with the dry fasting. So she's going to join me from today okay, till the next three days. Okay, so we are going to do dry fasting. Okay, sir. Maybe that's why God, I, know, I felt that urge since last week. Take a dry fast. I think it was because something like this was coming. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So you are going to join me in this dry fasting yes, sir. for three days, yes, sir. starting from today. Yes, sir. We'll break the whole of the enemy in your life. Amen. Thank, Thank you so you, much, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. It shall be done. Thank you, sir. Please, um, we should be staying here with you because you have to be going and coming every day. No in prayers. She's going to stay here with me so that I'll have enough time to break the whole of the enemy. Okay, sir. So that, that will not be a problem. No problem. Sweetheart, please, you heard what he said. Is you have to stay. The devil is a liar. You have to finish this once and for all. Yes, we must get married. Please be free. It's my daddy. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you need anything. You need yeah, that. just get my key and pick some things from me at home. Okay, please help me pick the key and get those things. Okay. Uh, daddy, thank, thank you, you so you much, sir. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank things. you. Yeah. Just, Shall I see you? You know, don't worry, sister. Just, just be, calm. be free, eh? I'll be back. So thank you, sir. Don't worry. You are in good hands. You are in the presence of the Lord. My sweetheart, <laughs> the love of my life. 
You know, you are the best thing that has happened to me. It is God that has brought you to me. See, now that you have agreed to be my wife, I will take you all around the world. You will become the mommy Jew. Mm. You will become a very strong woman in the church. Mm? I believe you. Yeah. And I can't wait. Can't <laughs> wait to be the mommy Jew. <laughs> Don't worry. Jesus Christ. Kids! What's happening here? Ah! Papa! What is going on here? What does it look like? Kate, you're asking me. I just saw you lay on him now. Are you not the one that said I should be very comfortable with him? No! I never asked you to lay on him! Calm down, you're shouting. It was prayers you came for. Papa, what is going on? See, see, listen, family. Let me officially announce this to you. That this marriage of a thing is not going to work with you. You have to understand, please. What are you saying? Please, you just have to understand. I am going to be Mommy Jill. I'm going to marry him. Okay? Just go out there and get yourself another wife. Oh, God. Please, I'm done. Uh, well, um, Femi, you know, the last time you came here when you brought her to introduce to me, the Holy Spirit said something. But I didn't tell you what it was that time. Uh, Actually, it was true that the Holy Spirit said that uh, when you get married to her, you are going to die in the next three months. But also the Holy Spirit said more. What the Holy Spirit specifically said, He said, you are not the husband of Kate. And the Holy Spirit said that I am the husband. And that was why the Holy Spirit caused you to bring her to me. Um, so I will just advise you Keep on searching. Yeah. You'll get someone else, please. You cannot disobey the Holy Spirit. So just go and get yourself another woman. Go, bless with another Man of God, that was exactly what I saw in my dream. And one thing about my dream is that they always come to pass. That is why I've come to you, man of God. To know if I can go ahead to introduce my fiancé to my papa. Because I don't want to make any wrong decision. Please, man of God. Spirit of the living God. Mm. Can I shock you? Okay, man. What you saw in the dream is true. Eh? Yes. If you take your fiancé to your papa, <laughs> that thing you saw in the dream is going to happen. Yes. You mean my papa will take my fiancé from me? your papa indeed i don't even know why you are still in that church you know you instrumentalists you guys are not always spiritual you're always carried away by music you don't know about spiritual things that happen in a church that's your church you see there are a lot of mysteries you don't know that man you call papa is diabolic yes he has sold his hands with many things and he manipulates people. Good. He is not whom you think he is. <laughs> not all men of God that stand on the altar to call the name of God are genuinely from God. Ooh. Because Africa is a place of church business. That is why you see a lot of people. They enter into it and they manipulate people. <laughs> Somebody can just close his shrine and move into church business and will be using juju to be doing miracle and people will think that he's from God. Hey. And because Africans are desperate for miracle and power, they always fall as prey. Let me tell you, if you take your fiancé to him, you're going to regret your life. You need to leave that church and look for elsewhere to do your wedding. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to do that. If yeah. not, you're going to regret it. My papa. Sir, I love him so much, you. In fact, there's nothing I do without letting him know. It is natural. It is normal. Also, I want you to devote time and pray concerning your fiancé. Before you make your final decision, pray about her. Okay, sir. Okay, hmm? sir. Okay, sir. Thank God it was a dream. Huh. Thank God you, you've not taken a step yet. Yes, man of God. So you have to be wise. Yes, sir. And act with wisdom. Yes, sir. Apart from that, <laughs> it doesn't make sense to leave your wife or your fiancé in the hand of any man of God. Prayer can be made anywhere. 
for a young lady to go and stay with a man that is staying alone, it is not advisable. Yes, sir. Hmm? Right, sir. So let us be careful. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Hey, Papa. So now so you for collect my babe. Hey! <laughs> 